Hello everyone! Today I am going to show something really, really cool. See this detailed image here I just generated? Let me show you something that might blow your mind. It just took me about 8 seconds to generate using a Flux dev model, that's true. Now, let's compare this with the regular Flux dev model generation. First, let's wait for the model to load so we can keep things fair. Alright, here we go. As you can see, at the 10th step, the regular Flux dev model took exactly 8 seconds. That's pretty impressive, right? The regular generation took 21 seconds to complete, compared to just 8 seconds with the previous generation. I am honestly blown away by this speed. Wait, let's do the math that's like, what, 3 times faster than the regular flux speed? That's insane! Alright, let's run this again using wave speed. This time, 30 steps took about 7 seconds to complete. Not bad, right? Let's try another one with wave speed oops. I accidentally clicked on the terminal, which paused the generation. My bad! Even with that little hiccup, it still only took 10 seconds. But let's do one more. This time without me messing it up. And there we go, 9 seconds. That's seriously impressive. What do you all think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. All right, everyone, let me introduce today's special guest meet, Comfy UI Wave Speed. It's the all-in-one inference optimization solution for Comfy UI. Universal, flexible, and, as we've already seen, fast. Seriously, we've already witnessed the speed part, and it's wild. Now, on their GitHub page, they mention this is still a work in progress, but honestly, it's already delivering some fantastic results. They even posted a comparison on their page. Let's take a closer look. So, here is this cat generated using the regular Flux dev model, and it took about 17 seconds to create. On the other side, we have the Flux.1 dev model with first block cache and compilation. And look at this, it took just six seconds to generate. Same quality, but way faster. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Want to know how you can get this tool installed? Stick around because I am about to walk you through the installation process and setup. Trust me, it's super straightforward. Let's dive right in. First, navigate to your custom nodes directory. Then, all you need to do is clone the repository. That's it simple, right? I'll show you exactly how it's done. All right, so I am already inside the custom nodes folder. Now, all we need to do is copy the repository link, like this one you see on the screen, and paste it into the terminal. Once that's done, just open or restart Comfy UI if it's already running. And that's it. Seriously, it's that simple. And before you start typing in the comments about the message on my terminal saying, fatal, destination path, comfy wave speed already exists and is not an empty directory, don't worry. That just popped up because I already installed the tool earlier. So no stress, it's all good. Okay, so on their GitHub page, they posted two example zone for flux models and another for LTX models. Now think about this, LTX is already one of the fastest video generators out there right now. Can you imagine how much faster it will be with wave speed? I am seriously curious to test it out, this is going to be exciting. Alright, so I couldn't open the workflow files directly from their GitHub page, but no worries here is a folder inside the comfy wave speed directory called workflows, and I was able to open the files from there. So, let's dive in and test LTX now. This is where things get really interesting. In this LTX example using wave speed, it took about 11 seconds to generate a video. Let's test it again to see if it's consistent. Yep, this second video is taking around 10 seconds to generate. That's seriously impressive. I mean, LTX is already known for being fast, but now it's like the speed just got turbocharged. 
And think about this, we're generating videos at the same speed we used to create images just a year ago. That was unimaginable back then. It's crazy how far we've come, right? Now, let's continue our tests by running LTX without wave speed and see how it compares. All right, this first one without wave speed took about 16 seconds to generate. That's more than double the time it took with wave speed. Let's try another video to see if that trend holds. This second test took about 14 seconds to generate without wave speed. Like I said, LTX is already fast, but wave speed, it's cutting LTX's generation time in half and making Flux dev models almost three times faster. That's insane. So my lovely followers, what do you think about this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Were you excited to try out this new node? Let me know. Now, as you can see, I tested the Flux dev models again, but this time using the wave speed workflow. I kept the same prompt to test the text generation and look flawless. The text is perfect. Let's try another example. I'll randomize the noise and here we go. Another image. And again, the text is perfect. Not just that the prompt coherence is spot on and the cherry on top, it's super fast. This is next level stuff. Next up, let's test it on the almighty Hunyuan video model. This model is notorious for its heavy load times, usually taking around four to five minutes to run a 70 frame video. But guess what? Not anymore. With wave speed, it took just one minute and a half. That's three to four times faster. Seriously, this is mind blowing. Really, really impressive. So this is it. Let's look at the impressive results we've achieved. Up to three times faster generation times, maintained image quality, better resource utilization. Join our Patreon community to get support. Share your results. Stay updated on new features. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more optimization tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.